So here we have some numbers which we need to convert into standard form. Now the first one, uh, 6,370,000, that's actually the radius of the Earth in metres. So the way we're going to do this is the first number has to between, be between 1 and 10. So this one here is going to be equal to 6.37. And then when it comes to working out the power that we raise it to, well what we've got to do is uh, basically move that decimal place 6 places. To go from 6.37, we're thinking about moving that decimal place uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So we write this as 6.37 times 10 to the 6. The number beneath this, um, again we need to write in standard form. So the first number between 1 and 10 is going to be equal to 6.02. How many times do we need to move that decimal place? Well, we've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 22, 23 times. So we've moved the best decimal place 23 times, and this is then 6.02 times 10 to the 23. You might recognise that number from chemistry. And finally, this last example, uh, we've got a really small number now, so it's going to be a negative power. So uh, 0 0.0000067 means our first number is going to be equal to 6.67. How many times do we need to move the decimal place? Well, this time we're moving it this way, so it's going to be a negative number. And we move it 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. So this one here is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. This is known as big G, and it's a constant for gravity that you can, might come across in A-level physics. So here are just a couple of quick examples about how to display these numbers in standard form.